Hey guys, Irene here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a very, very special video that I wanted to do for such a long time now. As you probably guessed from the title of this video, I'm gonna have some photographers trying to match the picture to the photographer that has taken it. So these are the pictures that they're gonna be guessing. You're gonna see them on the screen because I want you guys to participate in this as well and try to guess who took which picture. Also, this idea is not mine. All the credit goes to cut and their YouTube channel. I will link them in the description down below if you guys want to check them out. I will also link everyone who participated in this video. Huge thanks to you guys for doing this with me. And yeah, let's get started. Uh, my name is Bill Cubitt. Uh, I've been doing photography since 1978, so quite a, quite a long time. A uh, big part of my life with photography is I'm with a local Calgary camera club. So this will be a really interesting uh, uh, assignment for me. I look at that as a, an assignment, like a, like a class project kind of thing. Uh, because I do lots of different types of photography, it'll be really interesting to look at the, the photographs and to ask questions to the different photographers and see if I can splice all that together. Hi, uh, my name is Isabella Morton and I am a portrait photographer here in Calgary. I've been shooting for about two years roughly and yeah, I really love doing portraits just because I feel like I can capture people and kind of their memories as they're uh, living their life, whether or not it's posed or uh, candid, but I really enjoy just that aspect of capturing a moment in time and being able to share that with other people. I'm really excited for today. I think it'll be a fun challenge just to see the different types of um, photography styles and trying to pin the different photos with the different people. Here are the pictures. Thank you very much. All these photos, I just want to say all these photos are really quite spectacular. So this is going to be quite a hard assignment. <laughs> so uh, let, let's start with you. Hi, I'm Shanda. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Um, so just tell me a little bit of, uh, maybe about um, your background, how you got into photography. Um, I got into it in high school, Yeah. Um, grade 10. So they like start with the basics with the pinhole camera and then oh, wow. film and stuff. So I really enjoyed that, especially like working with my hands. And then I got into digital, so that's how I got into yeah. photography. Do you prefer shooting indoor or outdoor? Outdoor. Outdoor? Yeah. Okay, and time of day? Like, do you have a, do you have a favorite time of day that um, you like to shoot? I usually like to shoot like when the sun's not like too high, so, but I'm not a morning person either, okay. so usually like around yeah, three, day. yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Do you like using, not like difference between black and white, but do you like having a lot of color in your pictures? Do you kind of like having more more muted tones? Like what's, what's like your color <laughs> preference? I, I like color, I love color. color. So even if I shoot, um, do a shoot where there's like black and white, I would like to have like a splash of color somewhere. Okay, so. cool. So you enjoy doing portraits? I'm, I'm yeah, assuming. I love portraits. Uh, I think, do you, do you um, are you more comfortable with natural light or? I love natural light more. I'm starting to learn like studio lights, but I'm more of a natural light person. Right, okay. Yeah. The camera gear that you use, uh, you haven't been shooting for very long, I'm, I'm assuming, yeah. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So do you mostly use your friends when you photograph? Or? Yeah, I mainly use my friends. I also use models. Like I'm part of like Facebook groups. So I find models there. Okay. And, yeah. All right. I'm going to give you one of the photos. Okay. And then at the end, I think I might regroup myself. I'm going to start with this image here. Okay. This is a kind of a weird question, but what's your favorite like movie slash book, uh, like genre, genre, I guess? Gen movie, I'd say like romantic comedies. Okay. I'm a sucker for those. And books, hmm, wide range. Like, I like some romance. I like some like coming of age stuff mm -hmm. and some like self improvement stuff. So I'm like a wide range of books. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then, so what, what camera lens? Kind of setup do you do you prefer? I have a nifty fifty. Oh, so, okay. yeah, it's <laughs> my fave. Love those. And so you're talking about lots of color. Yeah. Lots of color, which is good. <laughs> okay. Well, information. Mm, is this gonna be fun? Actually, this is gonna be a little tricky. Because you expressed your love for color, I think I'm gonna give you this one. Okay. Possibly. Yeah. Hey, I'm Danny. Hey, Dan. Bill. Um, you seem a little bit. Older. How old are you? <laughs> Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Yeah. So, have you been shooting for how long? Uh, only like five years, five oh, six years. Right? Yeah. Okay. Like how how did you get in? Um, 
I used to be a professional musician um, and I had some nerve damage so I can't play anymore and I was super bummed out about it and my wife got me a camera and kind of went from there. I'll start with what, what camera lens setup do you use? Uh, I have a few different cameras but uh, I tend to go with my 5D Mark IV the most okay. and then lenses anywhere from 24 to 200. Do you typically use a wide range of them or do you uh, aim for one typically? Uh, my favorite would have to be my uh, the Canon 70 to 200. Mm, okay, got it. So a little bit um, closer but depending on how you're shooting, it could be wider too. Do you prefer natural light over studio light? Um, probably half and half, I would say. Okay. Uh, do you like shooting male versus female, or does it matter? Uh, it doesn't matter, but I definitely shoot, when I shoot models, I guess, more female yeah. than male. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of genre of movie? Uh, action and adventure. Action and adventure? Yeah. Do you, do you find that you are taking other types of media and putting them into your photography? Like, do you ever go see a movie and you're really inspired and then you kind of shoot based on that? Um, I would say that the kind of movies that more of my photography is like, I cannot stand, but my wife loves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then do you typically shoot um, indoor, outdoor? Uh, both, quite both? a bit. Okay. Yeah. And do you have a studio? Yep. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take out the landscape ones because I feel like Probably not. With your music background, do you find that the models that you like to shoot are more um, oh, outgoing or loud clothes or? Um, no? Not necessarily. They're not related no, at all. No, I wouldn't say so. Okay. I'm going to give you this photo here. Sounds good. And uh, I'll rethink that as I get through the crowd. Sounds good. Thank you, Dan. So your lenses are typically closer, on the closer side. For the most part. For the most part. Okay, so I'll take those ones out. Well, I like your boots. Thanks. Boots are cool. <laughs> Look like a chill dude. I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Sounds good. Yeah. Hi, I'm Robin. Hi, I'm Izzy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, do you like to shoot indoor, outdoor? What's your Outdoors. Favorite? Outdoors? Mm -hmm. And then what's your favorite lens to use? Uh, 10 to 20 millimeter, wide oh, okay. angle. Cool, cool, mm -hmm. cool. Um, do you like a lot of color in your pictures? Do you like? Oh yeah, I love color. Colors. Love it. Love it. Okay. How long have you been doing photography? About three years. Three years. Yeah. So not very long. No. No. And uh, you enjoy doing portraits? Uh, do you? Uh, yeah, yeah. I enjoy portraits. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know where Banff is? <laughs> yeah. Do you do <laughs> portraits out there? I do portraits in Banff. Yeah. If if you wanted to take my picture, mm -hmm. where would we go? Uh, in Banff? Okay. No, just anywhere. Oh, uh, at Princess Island Park here in Calgary because it's pretty diverse. But if I had my pick, I mean, obviously you do like the beautiful mountains that we have as a backyard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, uh, combining a natural setting in your portraits. Yeah, I'm not much of a studio photographer. Yeah. Uh, Actually, I'm not a studio photographer. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> do you use a, a prime lens or a, uh, a zoom lens? For portraits? Yeah. Uh, prime. Do you ever have, are, are you passionate about fashion? No, clearly. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's your favorite time of day to shoot? Um, my favorite time of day is either sunrise or sunset. Okay. Yeah. Getting more of the golden colors. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to give you this one just because of the kind of, there's lots of different colors and it's a little bit on the darker, more yellowy okay. side. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give you a, a photo here and uh, I'm going to give you that one there. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Hey, how you doing? Sam. Hey, Sam. How are you, Bill? Good. Nice to yeah. meet you. Sam, have, have you been shooting for longer than 10 years? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, definitely just kind of like one of those things where once it gets in your blood, it's it's in there. Yeah. Can't get rid of it. And how would you describe your computer skills? And, and do you use uh, Photoshop, Lightroom? Yeah, I, I think um, with photography, I mean, back in, back in the day, I guess, you know, I uh, did shoot a little bit of film. Um, but now with the advancements of technology, I think it's important to be a really good photographer but also to use the, the digital element as well. I'm trying yeah. to combine those two. Okay. Um, I guess I'll start with, um, what's your favorite lens to use? Oh, wow. Lens set. L 
That's a great question. I would probably say my 85 is really good for portraits, but then mm -hmm. I also have like a wide angle lens, which I use as well, like a, uh, a 1 4 24, which is nice. Okay. Um, you know, trusted 200 millimeter lens, 2.8, like, yeah, so it's, it's, it's really, it's really, it's really difficult. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've been at this a while, so yeah. Lots of different variety, okay. And what about, um, say if you're uh, trying to do something really creative and outside the box, what kind of, uh, what would you think of? In, in a portrait? Um, what would I think of? Um, I think it, it's it's trying to really blend the analytical elements with the creative elements. And and do you like doing the portraits in a sort of a big old wide open space or more of a closed environment? Um, to be honest, uh, all of it. Yeah. yeah. Your, how, what are your feelings on color? color uh, I love color. Um, I also feel that you can tell a lot of, uh, a really good story with black and white as well. Okay. Yeah. I guess, do you prefer doing more wide shots or do you prefer doing closer? Because I know you have a, a wide mm. variety of lenses. Um, if you, do you like doing wide shots? Mm. Mm -hmm. No, I absolutely love, yeah. it's, it's so hard for me to say yeah. because I, I love all of it. Mm -hmm. I just, I love photography, all so it. yeah. That's awesome. I'm gonna give you this photo here and the reason I'm doing it is I see a lot of creativity in this. Okay. I see that in you as well, kind of thing. So sure. let's, let's combine that with you. I'll ask you the movie question too. Sure, uh, yeah, what's your great. Favorite genre of movies. Uh, genre of movies. Um, I would, I would probably say more cinematic. Oh, okay. Um, so something that's going to have, um, again, like you know, that element of like metaphor within the way that it's right, shot. Right. Yeah. Uh, versus kind of you know, I, I do like sci-fi. Love action, obviously. You know, being a, I don't know, call it, you know, yeah. a guy. <laughs> um, Gets harder as you get lower in the pile. Okay, I think, I think I'm gonna give you this one. This one? Yeah. Okay, great. Hi. Hi, how are Anna. you? Nice to meet you. Hi. The photography that you do, would you say portraits is the number one subject that you would uh, shoot? Definitely, I love shooting portraits. Yeah. Do you photograph your girlfriends kind of thing? Is that how you get models or? No. How do you um, find people to photograph? I, fo I find people, people find me mostly through social media, word to mouth. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So you have an Instagram account? Absolutely. And different things. I, I'm going to start up. Do you like fashion? I do love fashion. Yeah? Do yes. you ever, do you channel your fashion, love for fashion in your photographs? Uh, sometimes I do. Yeah. Recently I started to, yes. Okay. Do you ever have like a stylist when you're doing a shoot? Or no. Or do you typically do it yourself? By myself, yes. Cool. Okay. Um, and then what's your lens camera setup like? Uh, usually um, I shoot prime lenses. Okay. So my favorite would be 85 mm -hmm. millimeter or 50 millimeter. Okay. Do you own a flash? Uh, no, I don't use a flash. Okay. Yeah. Do you, and are you more of a, a natural light, window light? Uh, uh, window light is definitely big in my photography. I also use ring light. Oh yeah, okay. So how did you get into it? Um, well, I started as, um, I still do it and I love it very much, cityscape photography. I do a lot of government work for tourism purposes and then I made a few self-portraits and they turned out great and I started to post them on social media. People started to reach out, hey Anna, let's take photos. That's how oh, okay. I get into full-time photography. Self-portraits? Yes. So, what's your favorite time of day to shoot? I would say nighttime. Nighttime? Yeah, either nighttime or daytime if I shoot indoors, Right. window light. Okay, yeah. and do you have a studio? Or do no, I don't. You don't? Okay, do you shoot mostly outdoor, indoor? Uh, I would say I shoot mostly indoor. Mostly indoor? But okay. I do love shooting outdoors too. Okay. I'm going to give you this this beautiful portrait here. Awesome, thank and you. We'll stick with that. Great, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> and then I'll ask you the movie question too. What's your favorite genre of movie? I would say emotional psychological dramas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. I think I think I'm going to give you this one. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, there, Patrick. Izzy. Nice to meet you, Izzy. Nice to meet you too. Um, so, what's your camera setup like? with a Nikon D750 oh, cool. and uh, with either a 50 millimeter or an 85 more okay. than often. Do you like shooting indoor or outdoor more? I prefer shooting outdoor. Outdoor? Yeah. And then favorite time of day? My favorite time of day uh, is a lot of people said kind of the either the morning or the evening okay. where we can escape that harsh light yeah. and where it's a little bit softer. Okay. It does make things easier but I will shoot at any time. Okay and then how do you feel about color? I love color. Um, I really do enjoy uh, making sure that there's the presence of it. I'm often really um, 
more self-aware of that things are not too saturated though. Okay. So I do like that presence of color, but I do want things to also look natural, make them look real, um, to sort of make sure that uh, I don't lose uh, my audience in any sort of effect. Okay. Patrick, I got three photos left here. You do. And they're, they're a total wide range mm -hmm. kind of thing. So let's see if I can narrow down uh, what you enjoyed to shoot. Sounds good. Most of the images that you shoot uh, would they be portraits or? I do shoot a lot of portrait photography, yes. Yeah. How do you bring your own creativity into your images? It's a great question. Uh, I would say my own creativity would come from capturing a photo that's in the moment. So I'm not a big fan uh, necessarily of studio lighting when I'm using it. I yeah. love natural light. I love capturing photos that couldn't probably be recreated just based on the conditions by themselves. Right. Okay. So I do love photos that are kind of in the moment, um, available to be ready to be taken and ideally not recreated because of my style. And then what is your favorite genre of movie? My favorite genre? Uh, I love horror movies. Horror? Yeah. Okay. I think for now I'm gonna give you this one. Sure thing. Yeah. I find you to be very creative. I'm, I'm feeling that energy you. from you. And there's a shot here that I just love. I think it's so unique and creati creative. Uh, and if it's not yours, I just gave a compliment to someone else. <laughs> Fantastic. So let's hold that one out for you. Great. Thank you very much. Yuri. Yuri, hi. Bill. Yuri, tell me, tell me a little bit about um, the photography that you do. How long have you been uh, doing that? Let's start with that. I've been probably been shooting about 10 years, but I tend to take big gaps in between. Sometimes I don't do anything like for a couple of months. So. <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah. We shot for a year, then nine years, nothing. And then <laughs> Yeah, no, about 10 years, but very on and off. I'll start off with color. How do you feel about color? Color can be really nice. Cool. Do you it's like <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. What's your preferences when, you, when you're using color? Do you kind of prefer more bright colors? Do you prefer more muted colors? I mean, the color pictures, I think I prefer them just realistic. Realist. I don't like to oversaturate or at the same time don't try to mute. Okay. It, just keep it real. I get a sense that you're an outdoors person too. Do you like to hike and, and go to the mountains? I'm honestly lazy as hell. No. <laughs> mm, lazy as hell. I'm trying to combine that with photography. <laughs> Where does that go? The computer uh, that you use is a Mac or PC? Uh, it's a PC. PC. And the software uh, manipulation on there, what do you use for that? Mainly Lightroom and Photoshop. There's a couple of other tools and plugins I sometimes use as well though. Oh, okay. What kind of plugins? I really like ViewScan and then there's uh, Negative Lab Pro that I use a lot as well. ViewScan is a film scan software. It's just nice. It works with a lot of scanners without having to find drivers for 20-year-old mm. devices or something that normally don't work on current so, operating systems. So you're system. a film shooter? Uh, I definitely shoot mostly film, yeah. Yeah. And you develop yourself? Or yeah. do you send it out anywhere? Uh, no, I mostly develop myself. Okay. Sometimes if I'm just short on time, I might send it out, but... Is it 35 millimeter or large format? Uh, medium format, medium. mainly. Yeah. And then what is your favorite genre of movie? Uh, I love crime and thrillers. Okay. And then what's your favorite time of day to shoot? Um, usually afternoon to evening, similar like your guys say when yeah. the harsh light is gone sure. and morning is out of the question for yeah. me. And then indoor, <laughs> indoor, indoor or outdoor? Depends on the season. If it's winter, more indoor. Uh, in summer, I tend to do a lot more outdoor. Well, I got two images here that are quite different. This one does not say lazy. Uh, I don't know, the parking lot is pretty close there by the <laughs> viewpoint at, at Morning Lake. You have to walk up a hill to get here. This one I'm not gonna here, say I'm that lazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give you this one. This one is quite unique and mm -hmm. it's, it's sort of stumping me. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna give you this one and I might be totally off the wall. Okay. But I'm gonna give you that guy there. Sounds good. Um, for now, I think. For now, I think I'll give you this one. Okay. Yeah. I'm Gabby. I'm Izzy. Pleasure nice to meet you. you. Um, so, tell me a little bit about your your cameras. Um, so I only have one body and I have two lenses. Okay. So I shoot with a Sony A7 III, um, and then my primary lens of choice right now is the 35 millimeter 1.4 but I do also have an FG50. Okay, yeah. cool, those are great lenses. Thank you. I only have one image, mm -hmm. and I don't think it's yours. Oh, well, tell me why. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna tell me why. <laughs> okay. So, how long have you been doing photography? Just a little over a year now. Oh, really, just yeah. getting into it. Mm -hmm. um, do you know any photographers? Who do you follow online? Um, all of these folks. 
Um, and I guess um, my favorite photographer would be Ansel Adams. Really? Yep. Wow. Annie where, Leibovitz, where? I think is how you pronounce her last yeah. name. Yeah. Where would you see Ansel Adams' work? My dad used to actually have it all over the house. That's where my love of photography started was with Big him. Big black and white prints? Yeah. Yeah. Have you of been? nature. I'm sorry? <laughs> of nature. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, have you been to Yosemite? No, I haven't. That's on my list. And then do you prefer shooting more outdoor, indoor? Um, I shoot a lot of indoor right now. Mm -hmm. A lot. Um, I do shoot outdoor, outdoors as well. It's just client by client preference. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have, do you have a team or do you just do your by yourself? Um, so sometimes I do. Um, if the client wants um, okay. hair and makeup done. Yeah, okay. So I shoot portraits. Um, so if they want hair and makeup done, then yes. But otherwise it's just me. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Do you like wide angle lenses? I do. Do you? Yeah, I shoot primarily with a 35 millimeter 1.4. A 1.4? Yeah. Huh. Why, why'd you get a 1.4? Um, I really like the bokeh. Bokeh. Boca? Boca. 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 <laughs> However you pronounce it, I like that effect. Okay, there's five different ways of saying bokeh. Boca. 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 <laughs> what is your favorite movie genre? Oh my god, I'm a total rom-com girl. Okay. Love Actually is my favorite movie. <laughs> awesome. Don't shake your head at me. To me, you were Oh. Oh, oh, my oh my god. Just about to cry, sorry. I'm going to give you this and then I'm going to switch it. Okay. So Sounds hold good. on to that for me. Thank you. Well, I think I'm going to have to switch you, but for now... It's I'll a beautiful photo, so I'll take it. Okay. Thank you. Let me just study this for a second. I'm not happy with that one. That one's not bad. That one I'm comfortable with. Okay, I think a lot of these are very wrong. Um, <laughs> I'm, defi I'm definitely switching you because I know that's not right. I think I want to give you this one. Thank you. Instead, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to switch you. I switch. <laughs> I'm going to steal this from you. Sure. And I'm going, uh, this guy here has a very shallow depth of field and it's got natural light in there and I'm going to give that to you. Thank you. Kind of thing. That means I'm giving that to you and that's totally not right. <laughs> I don't picture you hiking to this location, but I, yeah, yeah, it might be the shoes or the backpack or something. I think this is more of a man's photo. I love how it's all centered and balanced and everything. So maybe I'm totally wrong. I'm going to give that to you, and that means I'm giving that beautiful model back to Anna. Yeah, I think I'm going to give you this one. Thanks. <clears throat> and I'm going to steal this from you. And I'm going to steal this one. Okay, I think I'm going to give you this one. Thank you. And I think I'm going to give you this one. Thank you. Yuri, I'm not too sure about... It's really quite difficult because uh, these are all wonderful portraits. And it's the one landscape that really throws me off. But this one's not you. I'm not feeling... Yeah, I'm, I'm just not feeling her for you. I think, a, again, a man shot this for some reason. So therefore, if that's true, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reverse this. I'm gonna give Yuri the benefit of the doubt with her. And this girl here, and that orange slice, that's really quite unique. And I like the color on that. So I'm gonna think that that one uh, went with you. Okay, I think, I think that's, that's, that's good. good. Yeah. All right, you guys pick your hand up if she got you right. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that was better than I thought it was going to do. All right, that's my deduction. It'd be really interesting to know if I got at least five right, but that might be really high. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. You guys pick up your hand up if he got you right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just one. All right, and now, guys, do you want to switch the pictures? Yeah. You're, you're doing the landscape? Yes. Oh. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I was right the first time. Okay. Hi, I'm Shenda. I'm a portrait and fashion editorial photographer. I think this is a really great experience. I honestly, I tried to pick a picture that I didn't think would be like easy for people to guess, but they got it right both times. So I guess I didn't do a good job of that. But yeah, I think this is really great. 
Hey, what's up? I'm Danny James Hagen. I do portrait and fashion photography, and yeah, it was just a killer thing to be involved with. Uh, honored to be among so much great talent here, and I uh, want to do it again. I'm sad it's over. Hi, my name is Robin. I'm a landscape photographer based out of the Canadian Rockies, and my handle is Mother Pixels. Hi, my name is Sam. Uh, I'm a professional destination wedding photographer. I'm here also to pet dogs. There were no dogs here. I'm just happy to be a part of this group. And uh, yeah, like, like I said, just looking forward to do another one. Hey, my name is Anam. I shoot mostly intimate portraits and urban portraits. That was an amazing experience, was a lot of fun, and I think I wouldn't have guessed, but so you did amazing. Good job. Hi, I'm Patrick. I'm a lifestyle portrait photographer. Uh, I thought it was really interesting to see what questions they were going to ask to uh, figure out which photos we took. I think that is interesting to see whose personalities seem to match up with their photos a little more telling than others, but uh, it was really fun. Can't wait to do something like this again. Hi, I'm Yuri. I'm a portrait photographer. It was an interesting project to be involved in. It kind of gives you a different perspective seeing other people describe some of your work or even they have to think about your own work and put it into words. Hey, my name's Gabby. I am a portrait and boudoir photographer out of Calgary, Alberta. Um, this was an amazing experience to do and I really appreciated um, everybody coming out and being a part of this video. Um, those who guessed uh, had a really difficult uh, task in front of them and they did such a great job. Okay, who went back? C creative to you, and Very good. Thank Lovely you. shot. And you, yeah. So I was torn with this for sure because there's a lot going on here. You, you know, no offense to the younger photographers in the group, but that's really high level kind of thing. So I'm putting that with you. Who did I give that to? You. So I just look experienced. <laughs> yeah. The beard at three. Yeah, it was, it was somewhat interchangeable. Landscape really threw me off for It's sure. the glasses. <laughs> I totally don't know what that meant. Yeah. Probably I seem more nerdy, not so outdoorsy. Uh, no, that isn't at all, I don't think. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm hopefully going into film production for university, so it's just, it, it, just the, the idea of film is so cool because it's taking like photography, but it's also taking real people and yeah. putting them into one medium. And so you can kind of get, you can understand people's personalities a little bit more based on what kind of movies they like. So. Well, this was very, it was very fun. Um, I did a lot better than I thought I was going to do, um, just because some, like, it, sometimes it's easy to tell um, a people with their picture, and sometimes y you can totally not expect that someone took the picture. It's so difficult, but I think, I mean, I, apparently I did well, so that was good. Um, best thing I think that helped me was obviously the movie question. It really helped me understand kind of people's brains and how they think a little bit more and also the color question because um, it gave me a good gauge of who likes to use uh, really bright colors, who likes to use more muted colors. It, it, it dictates a lot of how someone's style comes across. I think those two things mainly are what helped me I guess guess for people which is good. It was really fun. I thought this was a really creative idea and very very difficult to at least get a passing grade of trying to get half of them right. I, th I think what I found quite interesting, uh, I would be looking at the clothes people are wearing and are you male, female, and trying to look at the photos and see if I could just match it even without asking any questions. Did I already have some preconceived kind of idea of what kind of photographer you might be? And then I found as I got to know people a little bit more, that was sort of throwing out that idea. By having uh, so many portraits, so many really wonderful portraits, I, I think a lot of the people here could have done a lot of those different images. There was two images in the group that I really were drawn to that I thought were really creative that maybe was going to take somebody with a lot more experience than say just a few years to do. I really appreciate uh, the intimacy in your portraits for sure. And the landscape one, I really love too, just with that bang, bang color of the, uh, the blue of the uh, Moraine Lake and so on. You weren't wearing hiking boots and that threw me off, I guess. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I, I thought it was a really great uh, concept, idea, and uh, assignment. And I only got one right. And uh, I only got that right by switching it uh, at the end as well, kind of thing. So uh, hats off to people that uh, 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 can do a lot better than that. 
So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more videos like this in the future, please let me know in the comments down below. Leave this a like, subscribe to my channel, check out everyone involved, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!